Hey guys, I just want to give you an update on what I've been doing with that 440. Um, as you can see, this is not the 440 here. Um, I've stripped down all the parts for that and um, pretty much utilized all the parts that I needed, the plastic that came with it, and um, um, use it on this sled. So this sled here is a, uh, let's see if you can see that, it's a 2006 MXZ Adrenaline. Anyway, a guy phoned me up, said that he, he needed somebody to fix it, so I went over there and did an assessment on it and uh, told him the numbers and whatnot. He said, well, I'm more interested in just getting rid of it. So, I mean, the back end was totally, I think I've already done some work on this already, but um, was totally bent right in here. Well, I'm thinking. That's the right side. Secondary. And I know it's probably hard to tell, but it, it, there is a bend in it. So what I'm doing is I'm cutting that off. I uh, drew up a template that comes from here. It's gonna it's gonna come to about here, and uh, I'm gonna stretch it out to 136, so 121 right now. So I figured if I'm gonna be adding a new piece of aluminum onto the back here, I may as well. Um, spend a little bit of money and extend the track. Now, um, on my 03, I did the same thing. As you can tell it, it looks pretty darn good. But, uh, yeah, so what I ended up doing, or what my plan is, is to, um, I'm going to keep this sled here, the, the 03 800, but uh, my 06, uh, or sorry, 03 uh, 600 over there I'm gonna sell it so what I did was I pulled the track off of here which was a inch and three-quarter uh, backcountry track so you know, paddle track anyway I took that off I picked up a uh, cheap track an inch and a quarter uh, rip sh rip saw track on Kijiji for like 80 bucks so I threw it on here since this will be the secondary sled now rather than my primary. So, anyways, um, pretty much going to do all the same mods that I've done to the, the 03. I'm going to be doing the running boards here, cutting that all out, putting in that style of running board, um, taking all the clutching. I touched, I, I touched face with, um, with Joey there, um, uh, the guy who. Uh, um, set me up with my clutching. He said that I can throw that all right onto this sled. So um, everything that's on here, which is a really good stock setup I've heard on, on the 06s, I'm going to throw that on the 03 and uh, take the setup that I have off the other sled and put it on here since I'll be getting a little more performance out of that. So um, really did get, I got a decent deal on it. I mean, the motor only has a thousand miles on it. I mean, there's, it's like, it's like brand new. Like everything is, you know, still shiny. Even the plastic is still shiny. But I've done already quite a bit of work. Just take off the hood here. So you can see. Um, still got to get some brackets for that to hold that on. Um, this was all smashed. This, this here was shattered. Um, parts of the nun were bent in some spots, so that was all um, redone. Um, basically, just uh, went on Kijiji, found a bumper, found found the nose pan, um, and then the rest of the parts I pulled off of that 440. So I got uh, a lot of it already together. I'm just waiting on parts right now. So um, the exhaust can. It's totally bent, so I got a new one right there. So that all fits in there, fine and dandy. Um, the Speedo wire works, but um, the tack, um, the housing totally was shattered. It must have been a real cold day when this guy had, had uh, run into, uh, when he ran into that snowbank. So it must have been a cold day, and it just shattered everything. I mean, the light was shattered, the the um, that housing was shattered, the whole front end was totally done, 
and the nun had some slight little bends where the the exhaust can rests on top on those bumpers so I just stuck a pair of ice grips on them and bent them back up I you know I felt along along all of them they're all it's all straight um, it's all in really good condition um, the steering column had to be I had to replace a few little parts in there the most part was good because uh, the handlebars were totally out of skew with with the skis so straighten that all out um, there was a kink right here um, I went over this with the 03 but they have that thin piece of metal here so I pulled this off the 440 this brace here um, um, put a reverse hammer uh, type dealio you know pulled the, the the bends out of it and threw this brace on there it's like I don't know if you can see but it's there's no bends in it at all now so yeah I'm gonna, gonna build this thing up uh, by the time I'm all said and done I've already got all the parts ordered and uh, I'm gonna be about, about three grand into uh, the whole the whole setup by the time I'm done uh, I'm probably going to be, by the time I'm done, everything, probably around 30 hours, man hours to do everything. I mean, that will include putting the running boards in, extending the track, you know. Oh, another thing that I had to do too is the heat exchanger right here was uh, warped from the crash. It was bent, it was bent like that. So I uh, threw a 2x4 on here and uh, a few clamps and I sniped it and bent it back straight. It doesn't leak, nothing like that. Like still good all that way actually you know when he, when he brought it to me it was a running sled like you could drive it down the back lane it runs fine um, you know other than the obvious obvious damage that I had with it so yeah I mean I've already uh, done some of the mods a lot, a lot of the mods putting the screens on the on the side panels and, and on the hood and you know I've been looking for deals and stuff on uh, people parting out sleds and I managed to pick up a lot of these parts pretty darn cheap so um, yeah pretty excited about this uh, should be pretty good for next year and we'll have to say goodbye to the 600 and I know we haven't gone we haven't gone over this this sled too much yet but I totally rebuilt this sled too but that will be another another video so anyway I'll be giving you guys updates as as to I get more more stuff done I'm Sorry I didn't get one out before as I was working on it. And like a lot of the stuff I've already fixed. So we're getting a lot closer to being done. Um, anyway, have a good one. Thanks for watching. Bye.